Okay, I'm Michael Wunsch. I'm the plant pathologist here at the NDSU Carrington Research Center. Um, I'm standing here beside our chickpea research trials that we're conducting this year here in 2020. Uh, as you can see, we have an extensive set of, of plots here, and this is ex exclusively to study the management of ascochyta blight. Ascochyta blight, of course, is the major limiting pr uh, factor for chickpea production in the northern plains, and a constant concern for anyone who is considering or is producing chickpeas. So what we are working on in this particular set of studies is primarily looking at how we optimize fungicide applications. Uh, when you talk to somebody, say a plant pathology a professional, they'll always tell you um, apply your fungicides with more water. Apply it 20 gallons an acre, not 10. They will typically also tell you apply with fine to medium droplets, not coarse droplets. One of the challenges we have with these recommendations is that we have very little data though. So obviously there's a cost involved to applying with 20 gallons an acre rather than 10. And the big thing that we struggle with is how much of a gain do you get? And is it worth it? And so la starting last year, we began looking at that question as well as the question of droplet size. And while droplet size is cheaper to implement, all you have to do is change your tips and set your pressure appropriately or keep your pressure in appropriate range, it still takes time and sometimes takes money if you have to purchase new tips. And so again, what the lack of data telling us how much of a response we can get really limits uh, the amount to which uh, these practices are utilized and with good reason. And so because this disease is so critically important, we begun we began, starting in 2019, to look at the, these questions very rigorously. What we're using for, to address this is this tractor-based R&D sprayer. And what you can see is that we have a handmade aluminum boom that goes off to one side. It's equipped with a pulse width modulation system from Capstan Ag. And uh, this year, we have switched to a completely PTO-driven system. Uh, last year, we were still using a CO2-driven system, as is typically utilized in research trials. But PTO-driven systems give us a lot more flexibility and a greater ability to pressurize our systems, which allows us to go faster. And so we are making these applications this year at 10.5 miles an hour. Last year, we made them at 9 miles an hour. Regardless, the driving speed is realistic. We assess droplet size with both T-Jet tips and Wilger tips. Anyone who's worked with TGEP tips knows that as you change droplet size, you change the output of the tips. And, but we need to, in these studies, keep driving speed constant and spray volume constant. And the way that we manage that is by pulse width. So we actually uh, modify the pulse width such that the output remains the same and the driving speed remains the same. And, uh, and thereby, we can actually compare droplet size. The reason why we also have Wilger, a separate study with Wilger tips is because Wilger manufactures tips that differ in droplet size without changing output. And that allows us to maintain pulse width constant as well as driving speed and spray volume. And so, uh, and then the, then, the, then the spray volume study we are running uh, also with a constant driving speed and a constant uh, tip. In this case, we're putting out fine, fine droplets and we modify only the pulse width to achieve our differences in spray volume. In our testing conducted in 2019, as we move from, from coarse or medium coarse droplets down to fine droplets, we gained an average of 150 pounds an acre chickpea yield, and we reduced our ascochyta blight from 19% to 6% 6 of pods infected at the end of the season in frontier chickpeas and from 14% to 8% of pods infected in CDC leader chickpeas, which is a very important reduction for quality purposes. Um, and the real surprise from 2019 was the impact on spray vol of spray volume. When we increased spray volume from 10 to 15 gallons an acre, we res increased the response to pr from applying proline by 200 pounds an acre and the response to applying Proline plus Bravo by over 500 pounds an acre, average over CDC leader and CDC frontier chickpeas. 
the, as we increase spray volume from 10 to 20 gallons an acre, we increase the yield response from ProLine by 374 pounds an acre and 850 pounds an acre for ProLine plus Bravo. Huge increases, huge responses to spray volume. And it's the disease data that really show the story because when we applied with 10 gallons an acre at the end of the season, 69% of pods had ascochytal lesions in CDC Frontier when we applied the ProLine Bravo tank mix. And only 4% of pods had ascochytal lesions at 20 gallons an acre. And 4% pods with, with ascochytal lesions at the end of the season is basically a whistle clean chickpea field and top grade chickpeas. 69% of plants with lesions are uh, feed grade chickpeas. And we saw the same response when we applied ProLine alone, except the disease control was not as good. And so spray volume mattered enormously. And so this year we're testing this again. Uh, again, the response to spray volume was very surprising. I never expected that magnitude of a response. And so we're testing it again this year, and uh, we're also testing the droplet size again. The key here, though, yes, the response to droplet size was more moderate. But again, the, getting your droplet size right is cheap. All you need to do is select the right tips and target the correct pressure. And spray volume, well, that's a little more expensive. You might have to haul more water. But if acetyl pressure is high, it's going to pay for you. At least that's what our data from last year suggests. Thank you for your time. And more information is available by Googling NDCU Carrington, clicking on plant pathology, and scrolling down to the section on Ascochytobite. You'll find a series of PDFs looking at our at detail our data on fungicide droplet size as well as spray volume uh, for management of Ascochytobite of chickpeas. Thank you.